All right. Is there a hole in there? So, look at this part. So, come on, side guys. So, if I look at this, I take to show you guys all. So, over here, I have that line on the bottom. If I grab that line, I can drag it up. You know. It'll take it back before the stuff happened. So if I open a part, it's got a bunch of stuff on it. I can grab that line and bring it up and see what happened first. And kind of get rid of everything else later on. So that way you can kind of see how, how someone built something. Especially if you're taking over a model that someone else started. You know how I do that? First thing I do is go through, back through here. I just go back to all the, to the top thing. And I look and see how they built it. And kind of what steps, maybe I'll go in, check their features, kind of, but now I can see their sketch, you can see the constraints, their dimensions, what they chose to do here. So I can kind of see how they built it, so that way I can plan my changes I'm going to do to it. So if you just start going in to doing changes, you're probably, there's probably an easier way to do it if it was done correctly instead of you just having to make your new stuff. Um, so people that did it, they, they actually just, fill in holes and then make a new hole instead of just moving it over. So if you're doing that, you can kind of see how it's done so you can go ahead and make your changes better. And then I come here, now I want to do this, this cut out here. And I'm going to do it here and I'm going to extrude back and do it as a cut. But, how, why should I make that? Should I just make it 1.2 and that's good? What do you guys think? Anything that's bigger than the part. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it 1.2. I'm going to extrude cut. That goes back in. What, 0.75? 0.5. I'll make the cut. Everything's good. I come back tomorrow. They say, no, we want this part to be two inches. Kind of an extreme example, but that's the kind of thing you want to watch out for is how might it change? If it gets bigger than what I had set, now I get that. I don't get a slot anymore. So let's go back here. So how can I do that to make it not do that? I can make that coincident with there. Um, and sometimes that comes into problems, especially if you've got another sketch there. Sketches don't like to have a sharp point in the sketch like that at a tangency. Um, what I can do, though, is I can go from here and pick on the circle and bring out the dimension. So how's that any different than before, right? Looks exactly the same. But now if I pick on that dimension, I go to leaders, I tell it minimum. So I can tell it maximum, minimum, or it's the center of the arc. So I do a minimum, and I tell it, yep, yeah, I want that to point one. Okay. Screw tight. Now if the boss comes back and says to change it, it still goes through. So when you have your arcs, look look at those minimum, maximums, and centers. Because the centers are default, but look at the minimum and the maximum if you, if you think that might help. Or if you have a keyway, you know the distance from the side of the hole to the keyway. So. give it that dimension and not have to figure out what it is up there. Okay? Questions? <coughs>